Think of some mnemonic device. So she has the Kennedy. I don't know. Right, right. Nearby school. I think it's like a sofa. I think it's a sofa. But it's nice. Okay, well, Ryan, what? Ryan crying? No, it doesn't mean anything. Ryan, what? No, like the, pit, the baseball player, right? Okay, the baseball player. <laughs> Meg Ryan. Meg Ryan. Oh, no, she has funny teeth. Sorry. Like, no. Something about funny teeth. That's Oh, okay. Well, would you rather make that? Yeah. I think it's like <laughs> not very much. Choose your own mnemonic device. No, don't. I don't think it works that way. I think you need to. Right. I think you have to choose one that like. Yeah. But I don't even know what Ryan's hope is. Is it a soap opera? It's a TV movie, I think. It's a TV movie? Can I, does anyone know what Ryan's hope is? It's a, it's a soap opera. It's a soap opera. Yes, it's a mnemonic device. Remember the name of our fabulous cameras. But I wasn't sure what it was. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because you always have to have one. I use Stacey Adams. I use Stacey Adams. Siobhan, I just... Because... And it's... 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 And so we're going to start, we're going to start Watch Good Work and up to the Parks. This is the lobby of Public Theater. We're here doing Watch Good Work, which is a play in which we create the action and then the dialogue together. Um, and it's a free writing class where we work together and then we talk about your work and your creative process. I always have to do this, your work and your creative process. and and. Yeah, it's about you. So the, the me in the title is actually you. And there's a long story behind that, which you can read probably in your Mahabharata or something. Why that makes sense. But anyway, Lynn's laughing because Lynn has actually read the Mahabharata. So um, but what we're going to do is we're going to work for 20 minutes. And then we're going to, sorry, I'm checking with you. 20 is good. 20 minutes is good. And then we're going to talk. Uh, about your work for the rest of the time. Uh, if people, were, we've got Ryan behind the camera today, and if people would like to tweet us some questions online because we are live streaming courtesy of Hal Brown, Caroline will tell us how to do that. Thank you. Yeah. You can tweet at us on Twitter at WatchMeWork, SLP, with the hashtag new play, and I'll get it on my phone, right? Here. Okay, so we're going to we'll work for 20 minutes. I'm going to I brought my little my little timer. Then I got a radio shack, which I think is going bankrupt. <laughs> but not because of me. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, and uh, so we're gonna work for 20 minutes and then we're gonna talk and I'm gonna type. And Lynn has brought me some delicious food. Thank you. And a and a lottery. <laughs> we're gonna win on this. I say that every week, but this week. This week we're going to win. Okay. And if I forget to mention, um, next week we won't have Watch Me Work because I'm doing a fundraiser for the public theater, so. I'll, I'll repeat it slowly and later. <laughs> the lottery is exactly like showing up. The lottery is exactly like showing up. You buy it every week. You buy it. You, you got to show it every day. I think they, I think they have a slow, a, a marketing phrase for that. You've got to play to win. Aww. It's all right. It's true. It's actually true. All right, so I'm going to assemble all my bits of paper.
right this time. Just save if you're working on one of those machines. Same characters, but very different approach. Yeah. Um, I think some of it was influenced by some of the things that's just going on in our world, sure. and it's parallel to sure. what's happened, like I guess, ten years ago or sure. twenty years ago. Right. And so I guess the question is, um, how do I, how do I, how do I marry the two? I don't know how to approach a third draft. I don't know how to, I don't know what to do with these two very vivid strong versions but how to make it I don't know what it is right. I don't know what it is yet right so you have you, well let's see I don't know so you have you Crystal's been coming often to watch my work and we, we last it was a year ago Lincoln's birthday that we set you free I remember that oh god <laughs> we free, yeah we, free we have that on video we do I know I know don't worry we won't we won't show it to anybody don't worry everybody who sees it can look back yeah February the 12th um February the 12th it's out round we free it's there already right. it's yeah. there it's yeah. there but it's okay it was it's good it, it, it worked and so you, you put you put the work in that's what it sounds like you did and so you have one draft the first draft which is say tone A this okay. got to, or it's, you know this kind of tone and the second draft same character, same. Right. Um, 
So I lightly glazed over that right. and kind of was <laughs> <on> it. <laughs> right. and, and was focusing on the relationship aspect, the connection, and, right. and right. the comedy of the idea of this Jewish man breaking into a black woman's house and you know right. them connecting and possibly getting together and marrying before God and all that stuff right. like that. And and it was fun and sweet. Right. And a friend of mine said, you know, you can't really glaze over the Crown Heights riots in in something, you know, right. especially when that's what they're connecting back with. Oh, okay. So then all of this stuff happened with, you know, the cops and the yeah. Trayvon and all right. that stuff. Right. It started kind of hitting me in a different right. way and I felt like it was it, it was parallel to what I was writing. Right. So it became heavier and right. it became more of a challenge for them to be together. Um, because of these issues, right? And so, but I couldn't find um, maybe the light side right. of it because it became about that. Right. And so I'm like, well, how do I mix? The, you know, it can't be. I don't. I would not like it to be all about that, but also fluff. It, you right. know what I mean? Like so. Like to be both. I, yeah, I think so. Like yeah. to be both. Okay. So, so. Um, yeah, it could be one or the other, and both probably work well, right? And but you want it to be both. So what you can do just in a kind of dumb way is you could take, I mean, every par parallel scenes like you have, like scene one, is it like the scene one in the, in the second draft? Or it's it's similar. It's just different starting right. points, but the same yeah. things happen. You, see, you you can go through and just circle like taking the light fluff for black and dark and call it and putting it in the heavier version. You see if that it lives, like transplanting, you know? You know what I mean? Yeah. See if see if that works. See if it works. Just take take the light the light stuff and put it in. Take the stuff from version A, we'll call it, and put it into version B. Right? Because they are if you because if you were a doctor and you were doing a transplant, right? Um, they would be, because they're sort of genetic, they have the same makeup, it would be a successful transplant. It probably will work. You know, so you're going to circle like, oh, that's a funny light moment that I love. Let me put it in the, in the heavy draft. See if that works. You know? It's probably going to take a little bit of, you know, like any trans, it's going to take a little bit of adjusting, you know what I mean? It's going to be kind of weird at first. But see if that, see if it, if it works. I mean, you could run one and then the other also. You could do two versions of the same thing. You keep them distinct and separate. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but, you know, you, yeah. so you could do that also. Just have two plays. Two plays. The same. Right, you could do that too. Yeah. I mean, how long, how many pages? Uh, there, uh, uh, one is, I think, like 88, and the other one is. So which is the 88? Which is the... the so you, I mean, they could be two acts of the same play. That too. So you, you can have some options. So you can try two things. Just trim them down to the essential beats and elements and dialogue bits so there's no, there's no excess, no fat. And you can have two acts of the same play, which is interesting. Or you could actually transplant. So you, could, you have two ways of approaching it. You can do both, actually. I, mean, I would suggest doing both. Sure, just because then you'll see which one you like better. You know? Yeah. We start with the light fluffy one, then it gets heavy. You know? And or we have one where it's totally sort of integrated. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, just because of that word, I would say try to try to integrate. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> It might not be successful, much like America, but... <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, hey. Yeah. Don't do it. will be as good. Yeah. Yeah, you can try it. Okay. That's good. Yay, for you! Oh, Lord. Yeah. You know. Yeah. 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 I'm really, really, really happy. Because I've really been good. working really hard. Yeah. It's been, it's been hell and back. Yeah. <laughs> So come back, not next week because I won't be here, but yeah. the week after, okay? Or tweet in because we're here. Yeah. If you can't make it. Anybody else have a question? An answer? <laughs> yes. Hi. Hi. You've been here before, no? Uh, yes. Although I.
not been able to come for a while because of work and... Oh, camera. Bye. Okay. <laughs> Remind us of your name. I can't remember. My name is Jasper. Jasper, right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I was wondering what to do when you have a really good day and you produce lots of material and then the next day you go in and you start to work and everything that you've done seems to have turned to crap overnight. Ha! Huh. Like, really? Well, does that ever happen to anybody else? I don't oh, know. Like, oh no, no, not at all. No. Of course not. Of course not. No, no, but yes, yeah, I know. The world to see. Um, yeah. So, what's your yeah? Yes. Sorry. Yeah. Yes. So, what's your question? Well, that hasn't happened to anybody else. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, really? I'm really? Totally kidding. <laughs> really? Totally, totally kidding. Uh, like. Well, yeah. It's sort of. Like, once in a while, you'll have what you think is a really good day, and you'll produce lots and lots of material, and you think, I am on a roll, and it's genius, I'm the voice of my generation. And then next morning, you open it up, and you read it, you think, this is just crap. Right. Rambling to the lunatic. And then, and then I'm, just, and I'm not, just not sure whether that's because I'm in a bad mood, or whether it actually is direct, and I'm slightly more perceptive than I was yesterday. Right, or, yes. Yeah. Probably, I mean... I'm all confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no it's, and I love that question because I, mean, I was joking. I mean, I don't know about you. They've never had that problem, but I have it all the time. Well, <laughs> you wake up and you go, I am a, I am mighty. I am, I am shit. You know, you go, you know, I am mighty shit. You know, you go, know, <laughs> back and forth, back and forth, constantly. And, um... Do you guys ever have no? Yes, yes. They say yes. You guys? Yes. 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 So yes, it's, 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 it's yes, this morning. Yes, this morning. It's something that we that we as 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 people, but specifically here as artists, you know, we share that, right? Um, and it, it's you know, who, what's his name? Uh, I get them confused. Thoreau and Emerson. I think it's Emerson. I'm just going to punt. He says, he has this quotation that says, I am a god in nature, I am a weed by the wall. So, boom, boom, right? Yahoo! One of my teachers, a hundred years ago, uh, James Baldwin, used to say he'd write at night and they'd find, you know, he was writing brilliant pearls. And somehow, when he walked upstairs to his bedroom and walked back downstairs to his typewriter, he said, it all turned to life. And he, didn't know, he thought it was something to do with, you know, he, uh, he didn't know, it was a mystery. Um, it, it happens. So what do you do, right? What does one, what do, what do you do? Um, if, if I really can't get past it, then usually I'll either open some kind of blank or start on a blank piece of paper. But no, normally what I like to do is write until I fill half a page and then start that the next day because I usually find it easier to write something if there's already something there. But if I really hate it, then I'll start with a blank or document a piece of paper and pretend that it's all new rather right. that it doesn't matter right. about what happened yesterday. Right. And then I hope that when I read it the next day or even a week later, I'll suddenly go, you know, I, it's better than I thought. Yes. Or worse than I thought. Right. Or rather, right. I hope that my opinion, I hope that this time I'll be able to see what that day is instead of what right. I think it is that day. Right, right. The big question is how to keep going, how to continue, right? How to continue. And it's great you start with this half page idea, which is great, but I, I want to encourage you to finish the page regardless. That's the thing. So what do you do to finish that page? You and I talked about this before. You lower the bar. So you're great, you're amazing. You wake up the next day, you, 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 that's a high bar, right? That's really, really high. Oh my gosh, I have to be great and amazing. And you're not, you're not for whatever, because of what you ate the night before, or whatever, whatever, whatever. You know, you're, you're not feeling like you're producing great and amazing. And, so, and suddenly you come. Just lower the bar. I am able to spell the next word. Or not even that, tonight. I can. Eat your spell check. You just keep lowering the bar. And it becomes what I like to call comment. <coughs> Right? And it's just the act of doing it that is the thing. I would say, I just told my friends, colleagues, students this afternoon, it's the act of doing it that 
I believe is what the artistic process is all about. It's the work is like honey to the bee. But the bee is actually the it, the thing, the being is actually the act of pollinating. And we pollinate by writing, which is honey, right? So it's so you're supposed to be just learning how to continue. Right? So no number one, know that it's not a sign. What it isn't, what it is not is a sign that you should quit and and you know you know, join the Navy or whatever. Maybe you're in the Navy. Maybe, you know. uh, or if you're already in the Navy, great. <laughs> you know, come on. Um, but um, but it, it's a, it's a, that's what it the, that's what it's really asking you. We talked about this a couple weeks ago. Resistance does not want you to win. That resistance is there. Just it basically is asking you, just what you got. Come on, bring it. It's that's what it's saying. And you're like. You know, it's like, you know those, you game, you did those that fighting, you know, those ultimate fighting, anyway, you, you, anyway, but you just imagine, right, there's a guy with a big axe, you know, and then there's a gorilla guy, ah, and you put them against, against each other, and they, and then the guy with the axe, like, chops off his head. Um, that's what it is, they want you, they want you to fight, fight, so what you got, and that's what it's asking you, what tool are you going to use to work through and it's like, you could bring your big hammer, whatever, you know, or you could bring your, I'm gonna lower the bar. I'm gonna get like this. And I'm gonna fight you like this. And most of the time it doesn't expect that. Are you gonna say something? Oh, no. Oh, you were like, oh, you were just breathing through your mouth. I was breathing through my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> but does that, does that help? Yes, it does. So, so just, I would just suggest, keep, continue and finish that page. And it doesn't matter if it's any good. In the first draft or the second draft, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You just have to get to the end. That's your job, to get to the end. And then you read it through, and it starts to kind of take shape, you know? OK? Thank you. That's a great question. Thank you. You know, you, know, you were just like, hmm? yeah. <laughs> It's been the winter of my discontent. That's why I, I'm so, oh. <laughs> you know. Um, no, no, no. I just, anybody else? Yes. I'm sort of working. Sing out, Louise. Come on. I'm sort of working <laughs> in the dark. These yes. days. Um, the the uh, book that I adapted for right. the stage right. seems to be remaking itself into a musical. Right. Oh, great. Something I never imagined. Right. But uh, suddenly parts of heavy writing are, are, are like a song in my mind. Right. So I'm just taking dictation. Right. And sometimes it's music comes first, and sometimes right. it's words comes first, right. and I talk it into my phone, or that's right. what I've been doing here. That's great. So I'm just doing it. I have no idea, but I'm totally accepting that this may be crap or right. not. And, right. Uh, it, it, with the creative process, I've always just accepted and uh, what's happening right. and not judged it and just then see. Right. Is that, you, is that you've, like, written, you've written a lot of books. Carol's written a lot of books. So she's taking one of her books and she's adapting it into a play. And now the play is becoming a musical. And she's writing songs and lyrics and all kinds of good, fun things. And you're just going with it. So it sounds great. So this weekend, uh, this I got kind of brave enough to play some of the first time. Oh, great. Like, have you played on the piano? No. The records. I'm sing I'm not a singer. I'm not right. a musician. She just played it. But I sang. It comes to me singing. Oh, right. Oh, right. So I'm singing into the thing. Right. I played it for my daughter this weekend. Oh, great. When she was in town. It, uh, you took her totally by surprise. Yeah. She's like, I, I thought your voice would be much higher. <laughs> but it was very well received by oh, her group of friends who oh, was good. listening. Oh, good. Oh, that's great. So, so that was my ma a major step to, to, awesome. to share something. So are you at the are you at the end of the music? Are you at the end or I'm going. What I I went through the whole thing and wrote just notes to myself. What sounds like a song? Right. What what's dramatic enough? Right. Enough to be a song. Right. Father daughter. Right. 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 And then I'm just going going through it and seeing what walked out onto the page. 
on that premise. So I'm all over the place, and I didn't know what I'm doing. But, you're going, but I'm not, enjoying it very much. You're enjoying it, and it sounds like you're putting the time in and going yeah. forward. That's so great. It's good to be back here. I know. Yes. I know. <laughs> That's good. That's great. That's awesome. Anybody else? finding moments that feel or sound like songs. The, an aside literally it leaps up in the character out of the, you know, say they're having a relationship with a character on stage. It leap. I just have to talk to you because this is so, so much what they're going through. So just so you know. It would just, it's a moment that just has to be shared with someone other than the person on stage. So it comes out of a, a real need and that's why that's why it works. Because it's a need-based thing, not a, not just a convention, you know, or a thing to do. You know, what I mean? like everything on stage, really. It's we're talking about entrances and exits today. You know, why does the character come on stage? Why does the character leave? You know, there, it's a need. It's a need. It has to be a need for it to really work. So, decide if she, if she or he really has something to say to the audience. Great, and there are plenty of great plays. I mean, I'm thinking of gosh, the one that comes about a side man. So it starts with, and it's an aside, it's a guy talking to the audience. I think it starts with a guy talking to the blah, 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 blah. But you could call an extended aside, and he's talking to the audience, and then he goes into the play. Or, or the glass menagerie. But would that be an aside? It's Tom talking to the audience. Yeah, so it's, it's, a lot, it's in the vein of that, you know? It's, it is literally, it's not on the stage, it is this way. And I thought it was so brave in the beginning of Fun Home for the character to tell the story of what is about to happen. Right, and then right. you see what happens. Right, right. You know, but it, you know, that's my narrative. Yeah. 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 She's talking about it. But, um, it, work, it works. If it doesn't, you just make it personal. No. I mean, it's okay. She's not going to get in trouble. <laughs>
first piece of action on stage that you see? Right. Like I'm, I'm confused. Yeah. Right. Okay. Specifically, the thing that we, we were looking at this afternoon. Yeah. Like I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't I, it was what I tried. Sure. Sure. And sure, sure. I don't. I didn't know, go into that knowing that that was the sure. entry point. Sure. And it didn't feel like the entry point. Right. So now I'm like, okay, so how do I jump into this thing and have it feel? You know, I I don't want to use the word natural because I think that's limited, but it's just like have it feel like it's like I'm not trying so hard. Like I don't want to just try so hard. To, I just want to kind of get into it and get a good rhythm of story and then right. have it shift. Well, I, I but I think the question I, I hear your question. I think specifically, and this is because. I just saw space earlier today at the institution across the street. Um, and it's not the mental institution. It is the mental institution, actually. The New York Unified Hospital. Yes. For, for fabulous writers of all of all things. Yes. Um, but I, I think um, I think my question specific to your scene with, or your play would be what's the main event? Of, of that scene, you know, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, and then back up from there and pull back from there. And I think that that question so far has not been clarified. And once you find that, that's what they're talking about today. I mean, you know, obviously, father comes home or talk dog. They're doing the car. You know, they're doing the cars. It's not starting when Lincoln and Luther children. Right. You know what I'm saying? They're doing the cards. Why? Well, what's the main thing? Because he wants to learn how to do the cards. So there he is doing the cards. You know? And that's how it begins. Um, it could have started the day before. What? Okay. It starts on a Thursday. This Thursday, the day blah, blah, blah. It's happening. So. Um, but there's an urgency there. Yeah. And it, it flows very easily because it's connected to a very strong need from the characters in the scene. So once you have decided, and it doesn't have to be the right one, it has to be just something. Once you have decided, this is the main event of the scene, this is the action, this is the thing that they're really, you know, then, I mean, if it's, if it's the character fiction coming home, then it's the anticipation to someone see dust coming down the road. I mean, dust, you know. Let's start with that. Okay. Like you see the dust coming. Whoa. Who is that? Who is that? Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And then it you know it starts from there. Yeah, you see what I mean? So that so it starts from that and it flows very naturally from that. Yeah, that makes so much sense. So oh, thank you. <laughs> huh, now that I've made so much sense. Anybody else have anything that okay. makes sense? It's such a good feeling when I come here and I go home and make nonsense. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's fine. You were just... Uh, yes. No, I won't pick on you, don't worry, I won't pick on you. I, I was just wondering, uh, what do you think, if you have finished uh, a word, yeah, make peace. Where are you from? From Germany. <laughs> oh, good. We love Germany. <laughs> We do, actually. I used to live in Germany, so I have a fondness for What's your name? Linda. L Linda. Linda. Oh, great. Welcome. Thanks for coming. So what do you do when you finish the piece? Yeah, you have finished the piece, right? And, and, and you have been involved that much. Yeah. You just think, oh, how I'm going to uh, go f farther, more further, or how I could ever be better, right? Right. <laughs> You with mean the this next is one. like a piece that's done? Yeah, a with piece the next that's one. done. So you, is it a theater piece or a no, no, I'm actually not really in writing. That's uh, okay. It's, it, I'm more in, um, in the fields of uh, installation art. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. And um, oh, great. Yeah. And so you've done this amazing show. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna pump you up big time. <laughs> you've done this. So Linda from Germany has done this amazing, extraordinary show. She got, you know, the critics loved her. Audiences were thrilled. <laughs> and um, you're like, now, what the fuck am I going to do? Yes. Next. Because yes. I don't know if they say it in Germany, but over here they say you're only as good as your last show. 
right? It only is going to be the last show. So those of us who've had great last shows feel like we'll never do anything. Yeah, we're just going to sit on our asses and talk to the masses or something like that. I don't know. But um, what do you do next, right? Because it was so good. Yeah. I don't know if I can say it was so good. No, I say it was so important to me. It was huh? great. It was fantastic. <laughs> it was fantastic. And you wonder what am I gonna do? Yeah. Right. Right. Uh -huh. yeah. Just do the next time. You know why? Because we're waiting to see it. <laughs> and it's okay. It can be again like we were talking to Jasper. Lord of God. It doesn't have to be great. It just has to be out there and what you really you're an artist you produce great work you're an artist who produces great work but that's not why you're an artist you're an artist because you're going to learn how to go from that moment to the next moment and you're going to tell us how you did it in the next piece you understand <laughs> you see what i mean that's why I mean, that's the real reason why you're creating stuff so you can create something great and then you can create something new, and you're going to tell us how you moved from having a great success to continuing forward. And you're going to tell us how to do that, and we're going to appreciate knowing that it can be done. You see? And the art, again, is just the honey. It's just like a bee makes honey. It's just the honey part of it. But actually what you're doing is pollinating. And you have to pollinate, you're going to tell us your story by through your work. And it's exciting. That's what we're waiting for. That's what we're all here for. We're waiting to, to and you're going to, it's going to like, I just tell you guys this afternoon, it's, it's in the sea, it will be in the fabric of your next project. Just like maybe you had hardship or struggle before you made your last project, I don't know the circumstances. You know, maybe it was difficult, and how you got through it and how you made something wonderful, it's in the seeds of your last project. So, so it's okay, you know, it, we're counting on you just to continue and to go forward and to make the next thing. That's the most important thing. Yeah. Thank you, what a great question. That's such a great question. Are we done? Are we happy? Are we fulfilled? Five more minutes. Anybody? Yeah. <laughs> no, I really feel that. I'll just keep going on about that because it's interesting that Linda comes all the way from Germany, and you you asked us basically what we were talking about at the at the and some of these people I, I work with at NYU and we sit together and talk about writing, and we were just talking about that. And I really think the more I write and the more things I create, the more I think it's not about the work or the honey. It's about my figuring out how to make it. That's really what it is. It's interesting. Yeah. want to see is the thing that you make. You know what I mean? So there's a time for looking out and you can go to the biennial or you know do all that kind of great stuff that y'all get to do or go, you go see a lot of plays where you get a lot of novels and do a lot of shows or concerts or whatever. And there are times when you just want to stay at home and turn your eye inward and read the thing that the next thing that you're gonna make. So it's a great thing. It's a scary thing but it's a great thing. It's a very great moment. I only see things that are true. Which is also, we're done for today, I think. We're done, we're done, we're done. Look, they're doing some exciting thing down there. Um, it's so exciting show, and we're having a, a wonderful time up here. You guys are great. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you.